Hey, what's going on, guys? Ian's Cards back here with a rip. Uh, I got three Tops 2021 Chrome Update boxes to rip, Mega boxes to rip for you guys while we wait for some new products to come out in the 2022 season. Uh, I did actually pick up two hobby boxes of opening day. I was actually able to get them on Tops' website. I got them off the drop, which is kind of which is kind of hype. So I didn't have to pay the marked up value on regular websites so i was able to pay 40 dollars for each for each box so i spent 80 bucks got two boxes they each got 36 packs in them which is pretty cool i am uh i'm gonna be opening up one of them on the channel and then i'm probably gonna be storing away the other one to be honest with you just because uh wander franco is a bit of a big named rookie so we got a lot of packs here to rip through. Nice little pack opening. I know I haven't uploaded anything recently. But uh, honestly, there's not really much to upload, to be honest with you. So let's get a ripping and see what's going on. Got a nice Nick Maiden. Ha Young Kim and Liam Hendricks. Hopefully we get something good here. I know the autograph odds are like 1 in 72, I believe. So hopefully we can grab an autograph. That would be nice. So how's your guys' days going? Since a nice keep Brian Hayes, that's a good one. Nice Ryan Mountcastle. So how are you guys doing recently? I know I haven't been around for a little bit. Recently saw the Batman movie. That was a good movie. Really enjoyed that movie. And uh, yeah, no, just been doing schoolwork and stuff like that. Nothing too crazy. And, uh, yeah, no, I guess just keeping busy. Been picking up some new baseball cards. Uh, maybe I'll do a mail day soon. Maybe I will. Because I got some real nice, and that's nice Andrew Vaughn. I got some, uh, real nice pickups. One of my, I'm actually going to be selling a couple cards too soon on my eBay. So, maybe look out for that. But, yeah, let's, let's keep ripping through these. Hopefully we could grab a nice Alex Kirloff right there. So we got, I think these are 50 a box. 50 a hundred, yeah, sounds about right. 50 a box, most likely. Nice die cut in here. Nice Derek Jeter die cut, that's pretty nice. Bobby Dalbeck, that's, that's a nice card to grab. So almost done with the first mega box. And just been some good rookies so far. It's actually a pretty thick card right there, so we'll hold off till we finish the end of the mega box for this one. I don't know if you get like a guaranteed numbered card or anything like that, but I, I don't think so. I've ripped a couple of these of um these boxes, and I don't think I got a guaranteed numbered card or anything. So I think it's just all based on your luck. That's a nice Otani card right there. But who's looking forward to the to Topps Chrome this year? Because, well, I mean, I guess it'd be a top Series 2 if, nice Jonathan India, if we were to have a season. I'm, I'm uh, going to be uploading this on a Thursday. So we had that player meeting the other day. Of course, they got nothing out of it. So it's a green, it looks like. So we'll pull this card up. Justin Williams. <clears throat> Kiel Badu, that's a nice rookie. And let's see if we were able to grab an autograph. We were not, but a Tyler Stevenson green. That's a nice rookie card right there. What's that numbered out of? 75. Yeah, that's a nice hit right there. Tyler Stevenson, you know, rookie debut. So not crazy, not crazy with the rookie debut. But for the first box, we got a nice little pile of rookies right here. And a nice numbered card. So that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and keep ripping. So on to the second box. Michael Taylor, Cunha, Zach Wheeler. So if we were to have a season, my my predictions for World Series this year is it's it's going to probably be the, um, I mean, obviously I'm a big Red Sox guy, but I never predict the Red Sox to be in the World Series <laughs> just because... Um, they're good at messing up. 
So um, I would assume that um that it's probably gonna be the uh, Dodgers and um I don't know what's a good American League team because I really don't know a good American League team. It's a nice uh, refractor right there, Marcus. Two Marcus Simeons back to back. I don't even know who the American League team would be. I'm trying to think. I mean, I mean the Astros are a great team. As much people hate them, they are a great team. It could be the Rays again, too, because I, I like that card right there. Nice Whitlock. It could be the Rays, too, because, I mean, with the Wander and everything. But, um, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe the Orioles. Orioles will shock the world, right? It's got another thicky in there. So I'm going to put that off to the side. But, um, you know, who knows? Don't sleep on the Orioles, I guess, this year, right? It's a nice die cut in here, it looks like. Ryan Weathers, Tom Glavin, that's cool. Logan Gilbert, I forgot about the Mariners. Yeah, no, the Mariners are actually going to be good now, which is unfortunate because Kyle Seeger just retired. Uh, Devers and Joey Bart, that's a nice one. I think that's the first Joey Bart we got. Yeah, so let me know in the comments, guys, what you guys have been up to. Like I said, I've just been doing schoolwork and all that fun stuff. It's a nice Joe Adele card right there. There we go. That's a nice Kelnick. Nice purple as well. No, that's a nice one for sure. Esteban Florial. This one feels thick for no reason. Yeah, there is no reason. <laughs> nice Cedric Mullins. And uh, Huber Ruiz, which... Is a player I am very high on. I think that guy's an absolute beast. So hopefully this video is not too long. I'm trying to get it to uh, maybe less than 10 minutes. We're at 7 right now. Nice uh, Jake Cronenworth. And Evan White, which I thought was supposed to be a good player, but I'm not really sure. But here's that thick card that I was talking about. So let's pull this one up. So we got a Khalil Lee. Which I, I I think he's supposed to be good if I'm not mistaken. But who knows? Nice Jonathan India. My purple is gonna be Tyler Stevenson. And we got a Oh, it's an autograph. Look at that. What's that numbered out of? 125 a uh, Jorge Uña. Look at that. That's a nice looking card. Is that a sticker auto? It is. But who cares? Nice looking card. You know, if it was Jake Cronenworth, that would have been hype. I'm not really sure how good Jorge Uña is. He only had 12 at-bats in the majors, so who really knows, right? Who really knows? I'm not gonna, not going to say he's bad if he only had 12 at-bats, right? But look at that. We got an autograph. So I'm happy. Not a terrible box. Not a terrible box at all. Nice Bogarts. Nick Madrigal, that's a nice card I like. I like that card. What are these called again? The checkerboards? Is that what they're called? I think so. I think so. I'm actually getting a phone call right now, but we'll ignore that. Got a nice Whitlock right there. Whitlock, the steal of the year from the Yankees. from the By the Red Sox, actually. Which is kind of funny. We, we, uh, we really stole him. That guy is an absolute beast in the bullpen. Absolute beast in the bullpen. Tyler Stevenson. So nine minutes. Pretty good timing. Give myself a pat on the back. I haven't knocked over the tripod once. I feel like that deserves a like from you guys. Just because I haven't knocked it over. Rod Crew. So it looks like you get a, um, a die cut in pretty much every pack. So look out for... A um, Topps opening day hobby box rip. Jared Kelnick, that's nice. Same with the Akil Badu. In the next coming week or so, I would hope. I mean, top shipping is always phenomenal. 5 to 15 business days. Oh, I'm sorry. 5 to 15 business days is how long it takes. So so that 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 might be a while. Who really knows? It's getting down to the last couple packs. Uh, 
that one gave us a little sticky. Nothing too great in that pack. We got three packs left counting this one. I just hit the 10 minute mark. Is that a thick card? I would say that's a thick card. But who knows? Maybe we're just building up the anticipation. Because I don't know. Because now all these cards look like thick cards to me. <laughs> Yerman Mercedes. Uh, Alex Kirilov. That's a nice card. So, you know, I have so many of the rookies from 2021. It's not even funny. It kind of reminds me of 2018. Oh, that's another, another die cut. Because in 2018, I really got back into cards. So I was... So I, I mean, I have tons of Otani rookies. That's the good thing. So I don't know if that's a thick card or not. But we'll just we'll just anticipate it. So we got... I, I don't think it is, actually. Yeah, Blake Snell. But um, no, there we go for our three mega boxes. We got nice Jorge Uña. I might be pronouncing his name wrong. But that's a nice looking card. We got a to 75 Tyler Stevenson. And then I would, I don't know if you guys want to see all of them, but just a couple of the good rookies, Mountcastle, Carlson, Vaughn, Kirilov, you know, you guys get the vibe, Jonathan, India, and then we stack them all up. So actually a decent amount of good rookies. And yeah, that's going to be the pack opening. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, be on the lookout for the next couple vi next video. It's going to be a hobby box opening of the Tops 2022 opening day, even though we are not going to have an opening day. But thank you so much for guys, you guys for watching. If you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.